here at the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite summertime accessories, hair sticks. They keep this mane under control and off of my neck all summer long and it's so easy to use them. Just twist your hair into a bun, stick the hair stick in. I like to do a little pigtail here so I do one on each side but you can uh, do one big bun in the back or on the side or on the top or whatever you want but look at it look at that so quick and easy and it is a like five second hairstyle and I'm going to show you how to make these using supplies from our sponsor Papermart you can check them out online at www.papermart.com your best source for packaging and more we're going to use some beautiful organza ribbon today and we are going to make these little cuties but I'm going to have a bonus project for you on my blog so if you look below in the video description not only will you find links to the fabulous products that I use today, but you're also going to find a link to a tutorial to make these, ooh la la, feather hair sticks. Yeah, I just couldn't decide what to do today, so I'm going to make these. I have a very simple um, technique for these ribbon flowers. It's easier than the usual organza ribbon flower technique I showed you before. You're really going to love it. It's going to cost you pennies, and you're going to look gorgeous, darling. So let's go to the table, and I'll show you how it's done. Here are the supplies we're going to need to make our beautiful scrunch flower hair stick. First thing we're going to need is the hair stick. So to make these, just go to the hardware store and get a small dowel. You'll want to cut it to six inch lengths, sharpen the end with a pencil sharpener, and then sand it with some fine sandpaper, and then use a little wax paper just to buff it, and that'll help it um, slide through your hair really well when you come to use it. You're going to need a needle tool, and we're going to use this for making a little pilot hole here on the end of our hair stick. That's going to be helpful when we go to attach our ribbon flower. We're going to need some wire cut to about four inches long, so you're going to need some wire cutters and also some needle nose pliers to help manipulate the wire. The flowers are made with beautiful organza ribbon. Uh, we're using the two and three quarter inch wide size, and we're also going to use the one inch size in green. Now there's other um, options you can do for the hair sticks. You could just put a bunch of ribbons secured together at the end, like your school colors or your favorite colors. That would also make a beautiful hair stick, but we're going to do flowers today. So to begin, just take your um, organza ribbon, the wide stuff, and wrap it around your hand about, oh, about four times. That'll give you an eight layered flower. We're also using a lit candle for, um, for scrunching our ribbon. All right, so snip this off with a pair of scissors and then just snip between your layers to get all of the pieces of your flower. Then you're going to want to arrange them kind of offset on your mat, just where your work surface, whatever you're using. And that will make our flowers kind of curl up in a random fashion. There, once you have them all stacked together, you'll need to make a hole to stick your wire through. And you want to wiggle that wire, that uh, needle tool around a bit to open up that hole so you'll be able to stick a wire through in a second. Now, I like to use acrylic beads because they're lightweight. You want to take your little length of wire and put it through the hole in the acrylic bead and then wrap the two ends of the wire down and just give it a little twist to secure. Now, we're going to put the wire through the hole we made with our needle tool. Right through there. All right, and that will give us a place to hang on to while we're doing the next step. I like to go through with my scissors, and every time I see like a really wide uh, expanse, I'll just give it a little snip, and that's going to help make petals when we, when we uh, go to heat this. You don't have to do every layer, just, you know, just enough to give it some diversity. And then hold it over the flame, and as it catches the heat from the flame, the edges of your ribbon are going to kind of twist and curl and scrunch up and start to look really kind of shabby and chic and kind of whimsical and fun. You want to just keep going around and doing this until you get it as curly as you like. If you get any black areas when you're curling your ribbon, it's easy to fix. Just snip it off and then just reheat re it so you don't singe, so you don't have a fraying edge. It's very easy to, uh, to adapt when you're working with these. All right, so after you're done that, you're going to want to get your stick ready. One of these I had the hole in right here already. And um, you want to see how deep your, your uh, wire is going to go in there. Yeah, mine's going in about, I would say, an eighth of an inch. So I want to trim this right down. 
All right, I cut the uh, end of my wire off pretty short and I've got a little hole in the end that I made with my needle tool. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue on there. You can use whatever, um, whatever thick glue that you have that's gonna dry clear. And I'm just gonna put that end in the hole with the glue and just hold it for a second so we can set up. You wanna take the tail end of the other part of the wire and you wanna wrap it around the hair stick. All right. And then we're going to cut a foot of the green organza ribbon. You can go ahead and singe the ends just so they don't fray. And then you can put your candle away because you're done with that for now. And what you want to do is, I like to put a little bit of glue right here on the, uh, the base of the hair stick. That's just going to help secure my ribbon. And then I'm going to leave about three inches out and I'm going to start wrapping my ribbon around as neatly as I can. That's going to help. Um, it serves two purposes. For one, it's going to lock down that, wa that loose wire end so that it doesn't tangle in your hair when you use it. And um, also it's going to kind of look like a little bit of a stem. This would also be a really fun technique if you wanted to cover like some pens, like make those flower topped pens that are really cute and popular in the stationery stores and kind of expensive. So you could do that with whatever pens you have. So I also see um, like you could make them for if you have an office so that nobody steals your pen on your desk because they'll have a big flower on it. Uh, my dentist, they have uh, flowery pens like that so that nobody steals them. And do a double knot so that it's going to be nice and secure. And then your hair stick is done. So you can use two together and do like pigtail buns. You could um, use just one on the side of your head. However you want to do it is just fine. I want to thank you so much for watching. Please check out our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com where we make you look even better. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.